Alright, so just had an awesome ride with some friends. I headed into Wartook. It was about an 18 kilometre ride to get there. Uh, caught up with Callum and some old rock climbing friends and biking friends from the old days, Damien and Libby. So showed Damien and Libby the uh, Wartook single track, went up Chinaman's, had a good lunch and a cup of tea and I'm heading home. So this ride's basically got 34 30, 35 k's of transport, which I'm doing on eco, apart from bumping it up to trail for some of the steeper gradients. But I'm using B Levo, uh, BLE Levo. It's an application written by a European guy, and it is, I have to say, a zillion times better than the stock specialized mission control app. Hopefully, this camera is catching the data fields here, but you've got everything you could possibly want. You've got bike power, rider power, distance, incline, altitude gain and loss, and it's all on one screen. I don't need to swipe to get all the to, to the data fields that I had to use on the specialized app. Plus, this has got a whole heap of preset, pre-configured modes. I'm currently riding on B, BLE, B Levo improved, which drops the uh, eco down to 22%. And I think um, the bike, the motor currents dropped as well. This is quite good for touring on flat, easy trails. And I'm often, as you can see, riding above the motor cutout and there's no motor assistance there in that top field. So yeah, it's a great little app. One of the main bonuses for me riding out in here in remote Australia, relatively remote Australia, is that I don't always have phone signal. So being able to quickly connect to the bike without having to go through an online verification process with the specialized mission control app is fantastic. So this app cost me eight euros, eight dollars or whatever it was. This guy's a legend, we should pay him more because this is a great app. Now you might also see that there's a field here for cardio. Now I've ordered myself a heart rate sensor which should arrive early next week. You can connect that up to communicate with the application and you can set training zones. So, 50 kilometers. Oh yeah, just telling you I've done 50 k's. 50 k's and I've got 37% battery left. Pretty good ride this one. Be on target for getting 75 to 80 k's out of the battery, which is pretty freaking good. Maybe my fitness is improving. But going back to the cardio, once I install the, car, the, the heart rate monitor and connect it up to this app, I can set a training zone. Let's say, let's say my arbitrary training heart rate is 140 beats per minute. The bike will, with the app, if it senses that my heart rate is higher than 140, it'll increase power. Now, if I'm being lazy, I'm not working hard enough on the bike, and it's it's. Uh, you know, let's say I'm sitting at 120 beats, the bike will remove all that power so that it keeps your heart rate in a training zone, which is fantastic. Really, really awesome. And I don't know why Specialized didn't think of that. I'll tell you what, this guy's a genius. So I can't speak highly enough for this app. I've only really started using it in the last week. Um, but yeah, anyone who owns a Levo or a Kinevo or any of the E-Specialized e bikes, Definitely download this app, it is that good. So yeah, kudos to the guy that wrote it. And as you can see, I'm still pedaling above motor cutout speed on this flat stuff. There's a few gradients up here, so a little bit of motor won't hurt. But yeah, big long ride today. Good stuff. It's been bloody good fun. And I think I captured some good footage of my friend Damien bombing down the single track on his single speed fatty. Uh, this is Tori from Tori's Trails. Uh, until next time. Oh yeah, if you like this video, put a, put a little thumbs up. And uh, yeah, click subscribe. Hopefully we'll get some more content out to you guys soon. Thanks again, guys. Ciao.